Hello and uh, welcome to my lightning effects tutorial and I'm here to uh, show you how to create a lightning effect quick and easy on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. As you see here this is my my first one I'll just show you. This is just the first play of me showing yeah, sorry about it being a bit so slow because it's a computer a bit of a problem. But you see the um, effect will see it's done all on the own now I'm going to show you how it's done well to do this you may need to uh, split the clip by clicking on this razor tool clip and you have to place it as click at certain places that you want to want it to split the clip and you see I've already done that so it saves a little bit of time and and show you how to do this effect well I'm going to and I'm just going to skip a few frames here so I can add the um, lens flare effect. To get the lens flare, so it's the start of the lightning bit, you need to go into um, video effects and, uh, and, it's, and go to render and here you find the uh, lens flare and just drag the lens flare here and you'll see that you'll have this here which you may need to just click there under the hand just see here yeah it's just right there the brightness is just correct we may need to drag it down a little bit so about 75 percent and just see here and you see you have the um, ball effect here lightning and now all we need to do is just add a little bit of lightning and then to give it a bit of a spark and then you see that you have the lightning here now all we need to do here is to um, see if I can remember how to do this and you go to effect controls and you click on this one here and it will change the shape of the lightning and you just got to drag them here and just place it there and see what and you've got you got like a little effect there to give it that we want to just give it a bit so so that way we just trying to get it and you got a much better effect here where it's like now for the main effect, we have to just click on this one and need to get another lens flare, drag it into this clip and point it there and just see where it is. And you've got it here, which is mainly where we want it to be. And I'm going to drag in another lightning effect. And if you wanted, you could just drag in like another one too, so that way we've got two lightning effects. And now we've got one here. We we'll just drag one this one and out to this end. We may need to drag it further into the middle, so that's because the hand moves a little bit. And then do the same for this one. And there you have it. You got the lightning bolts just, but as you see they do kind of like move in a similar movement so we may have to change the effect a little so I mean this is mainly how it does it and so we may need one to like add increase the seg the segments and the amplitude if you see for example you've got like a much different lightning bolt here But though, if you wanted to, you can have to um, move, like split the clip and then s move a bit closer, or or not, or just leave it the way it is. If you, it's up to you. And that's mainly the lightning effect done. But though, like I said, you may like have to like tweak like the branching to like increase the length of the branch. I'll just show you. And 
equal to this one and and increase the branch of that and you probably have like a more specific effect which is kind of like what got here and to give the effect a bit of sound I've selected a few for like electrical crackle we're gonna put it here with I'm gonna put it with the um, effect and just drag it to here and you've got and then drag the now for the lightning one you just drag it here you just drag it onto a uh, or into this audio 2 or audio 3 which you take it and then you've got some more like this and that's basically how it's done and if you have any more questions on how to create how to make this tutorial or if you have any problems just um, comment on me and, uh, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks very much for listening to this tutorial and good luck.